Bun Mo. Oh. Hi, Jerome. Thank you so much for being here with us to bear witness for the animals. Thank you so it's much. It's a real honor. Um, so. I, I've never done anything quite like this before. So to come to India and be with you amazing people, um, bringing some love to the animals and to the people here um, who are looking after them. It's and also exploiting them without realizing that they are exploiting them. Yeah, I think probably you get the feeling these animals might be luckier than most in terms of the family loving them, but uh, I am already a bit in shock in the fact that they actually don't have land. They just have a building which they're sharing with the family. So um, I uh, I don't know how I'm going to respond to this, but it's a real honor to be here. Yeah, thank you so much. I'll just turn this around and maybe then I can. So yeah. this is the dairy. Good afternoon. Namaste. Good afternoon. Namaste. 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 So the, the farmer also has some goats here and yeah. he gets food from them from a supermarket and namaste. Namaste. Thank, thank you. you so people here are really kind they welcome us they have no hate for us they're just victims of the system just like we are and here we have jerome petting this goat oh he she's oh got my God. Oh my god. Oh, little one. Oh my god. Oh my god. Please share this video. We can have so much love for them instead of exploiting them. They are just living beings who just want love. Look at the baby, he's so happy. He's just a day old and is so comfortable being loved. Isn't that what we should be doing to animals? Just giving them love and getting love back instead of exploiting them and harming them? Isn't it just beautiful to have a kinder world? Please share this video so others can also see and here's one more oh no oh. they're coming in my suitcase <laughs> <laughs> they are just oh there the mother is so Hello. she's come for her babies Hello, Hello, mama. so she's wondering where the babies are yeah she knows where they are yeah so all mothers care for their babies. They get worried when the babies disappear and go somewhere else. And she is no different. Oh, gosh. Oh, and look God. at the babies. She just wants her babies. Like any mother. Okay. Hello, little one. Hello, mom. Your babies are safe. We aren't going to do anything. Beautiful. Uh, isn't it beautiful to connect with them? And she knows we are not going to harm her babies, so she's not too worried. It's just that she wants to be close to her babies. They are so intelligent and caring. Animals are just like human mothers. All animals are, I mean, they're the same. Mothers will be mothers, whatever the species. So she's not too worried now, the mother. Oops, she just... Tossed the other one down, saying go away. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to say goodbye to these guys. Yeah, it's, uh, they're so beautiful. Hello, Mom. So beautiful. They're so comfortable. Look at her. 
So what do they, uh, what happens, do they make milk from these goats? Yeah. Milk? Yes. Yeah? So how much milk do you get? Um, 10 liters. 10 liters? For? Only that many, just not one. Oh, okay. No, we don't take her milk uh, because she has a baby before one day. Okay, so when do you start taking the milk then? Uh, in the morning. Oh, even the goats? Yeah. Okay, so how many goats do you have? 10. 10? Yes. And how long do they produce milk? Uh, my grandmother had mm. goats. I remember when she it's had How many I've months? Two to three months. Oh, okay. yeah, and after after duration, after mating, uh -huh. the, then they get baby in just six I months. Think. Six months. Yes. Okay. Every six months, so twice yes. a month. Twice, twice a year. We, um, yes. I think mama okay. wants. Okay. Is somewhere? So where did they come from? In there? Where what? Where were they? Where, where were the babies? There. Should we put them back? Yeah, I think she's Come worried. Come on, Mum. Okay. This way. So, Mummy was worried. Where were they here? Where? Can you tell us where? Just. Yeah, sure. So, you can see Mummy Goat is not ready to let him go down on the floor yes they're playing that now okay okay mom not very soft do they have any do they have any straw this one's so young do they have somewhere soft? Yes, yes, inside the house. Inside the house. You they have some straw? Some straw, grass yeah, to sit on? No, we we'll, uh, put some sacks. Okay, jute sacks. Okay. Good mama. Good mama. <laughs> Mama's looking after them. Even now, uh, she will get the delivery. I think even today. She's also pregnant. Yeah? Oh. Yeah. So this baby does does the baby drink milk properly? Yes. Both of them? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can see how mommy is so close to their babies. Oh god. Yeah, so Not at all. And yeah, Not they're just one day milk. old. One day old? Yes, they're just one day old. Isn't that beautiful to see the love between a mother and babies? Oh. They are so gentle and so cute. What do you have to say, Jerome, now that you've seen them and you've learned that they take the milk away? Um, I don't know. It's overwhelming because, you, I mean, I've dreamt about having little baby goats because my grandmother had, had, had a goat and she had two little kids and I've never forgotten them because they used to jump up on our back. And I've wanted to have some goats ever since and I was just talking about trying to get a field next to my house to have some rescue animals and, uh, and then we've come here and uh, it's, so I'm deeply moved and it's heartbreaking at the same time because you want them to um, have some land and uh, be on some grass and be able to kind of lie down next to their mum. And have freedom. And have freedom, too. but even just, even just some basic. Right. Comfort. They shouldn't be living with humans at all, should they? Um, in the well, sense, inside their house. They're living together in the same house. It's not ideal for anybody. Mm -hmm. 
it's a reflection of the whole situation. It's uh, uh, so I don't know what to say really. I'm a bit um, yeah. It ain't gonna help putting them in my suitcase because I wouldn't fit mum in there. <laughs> but um, yeah, I knew you wouldn't want to separate mom and baby. Certainly wouldn't want to. Yeah. But um, you know, this is a, this is a reflection of the the systems that have spread throughout the world. Right. That um, families have to do this um, in order to scrape a living and uh, sell the milk. So they are just looked at as commodities, as a form of living, making yeah. a living. Yeah, and there needs to be support and incentives throughout mm -hmm. so that people, mm -hmm. so these guys, um, can find other ways True. to sustain. And they need, they need, they need the help of uh, our governing bodies. Mm -hmm. Throughout the world, the systems need to change. Yeah, and she's such a gentle, loving mom. Yes, she caring. Is. So I think we're gonna go yeah. and see some uh, dairy. There are some cows in here, so that's where we are going to see. So that's where cows milk. Yeah. If I don't cows milk. Oh. Uh -huh. Mom was too small. Yes. Uh, and uh, I think you can get uh, that here. Come, come down. Stolen by someone. Oh. Are you stolen? Somebody yes. stole one and brought them here. No. No, it's uh, it was from I think last generation. Uh huh. My grandfather's generation. Uh huh. From the ten dollar. Okay. These are your brothers and sisters? Yes, these are my maternal parents. Maternal cousins. Or well, you all live together? No, no, no. Uh, my school. Uh, it's near. Is it is your family house? Yes. How many of you live here? Totally, uh, all the small, uh, we can say children. We are nine. Nine of you? Nine children. We are 15. 15? Yes. In this one place? Yes, this too. Uh huh. See, he doesn't even know how to walk. So this is Mama. This is Mama. So mommy, mommy, mommy. He says this one is pregnant and will be delivering any time. So these are kept just so that they can be used. You watch the so he says that she's definitely going to deliver by evening. This is how beautiful they are. Aren't they just beautiful? So here you see them sitting next to one another, taking care of them and yet exploiting them. So the systems are so difficult to get out of. So now we're going into the dairy. Here we have Swati. Swati, what do you have to say? Uh, what can I say? Someone, you know, use them for making a living. Yes. I mean, they are they're so, so beautiful. Cute. They don't even do anything to us. Yeah. And All just, they want is to be themselves and their demands are not even as high as ours. Right. All they want is to just be. Be there, yes. But they are exploited. Exactly. So Jerome is now in the dairy and we're going inside. So there's a dog tied up because there's they don't. Can you remove that tape? So. Here we have them.
So these are babies that just need love and they need their mother's milk. Any baby needs mother's milk every one or two hours, but they are deprived that basic birthright to mother's milk and are given a little bit just every 12 hours. Yeah, they can't because they're tied with such short ropes. They said ropes that are a seat, thirty moti karushakta ka. More space because she's like. Oh, her neck is... It's so tight. It's so tight. Yeah. It's hard to do. Yeah. If we did it so long, then... Not so long. Just inside this. That's why. So he's making her rope a little long. So that... I do go at less. No, go. No, go. It is Shiva Pantila. Just so she can stand. She can stand here. Otherwise, she's like this. You understand? So. To give her more. There. Yes, yeah, so, so she has this. There, like good. Good. She's just she, stressed. Yeah. She just wants to nibble and suckle because she hasn't got she has so much love to give. That's better, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. She has more room now. Yeah. Oh, this one is a little scared. She's very scared. Yeah. Don't uh, let's she's move stressed. away. Yeah, she's stressed. No, rao there, rao there. Naiti lagabra unaka, please. So she's stressed, but this one is all out to the bone. Oh. So they need to suckle actually. They just need to suckle. And uh, please ask him to take your videos also. Take and yeah, this one just. Uh, this is not her, but this is what these do. They want to just suckle. And it's so sad that they don't have that opportunity to be near mother. He's a little stressed, but this one is very gentle. She's very gentle and very calm. It's really sad that they tied all their lives in just one place. With no freedom at all. Just so that we can take their babies, the milk that they produce for their babies, for our cups of tea and coffee. She is so beautiful and so calm. A bit stressed maybe because all the kids are here, we are here. Yeah, maybe we're causing you more stress. Yeah. I think we might be. I feel like we're causing the most stress. Yeah, maybe, uh, so maybe we should just go out and yeah. leave them. We have a few more here. All of their babies taken away. The buffalo is pregnant. There's a buffalo there who's pregnant. Okay. So 
I came this morning and I was petting her and she was just fine. She just loves to be petted and she becomes calm. She's very, very calm. Look into her eyes. Is this a life that anybody should have? Tied in one place all their life? This is not what a life should be. Nobody should suffer enslavement like this. No freedom at all. I think he's going to make her rope small again. She just wants love and freedom. But the system is where these beautiful animals are just tied up and made to live a life that we wouldn't want anybody to have. So that's her mother, the one at the end. You can see how she's suckling at his arm. She's pretty skinny because we've taken away the milk that was meant for her. Huh? So he says this one gets very scared. So I won't go near her because she gets scared. I don't want to stress her. Just like we have dogs that are scared. Rao there, Rao there, Rao there. Rao there. Just like we have dogs that are scared. Shweta, what do you have to say after being here with these animals? I feel like these people do care for the animals, yeah. but I think they don't understand that these animals are not here to, you know, serve them or in the yeah. first place. Um, so yeah, I mean, like here, like even dogs and uh, goats and cows, all of them are abused. I think they might be breeding dogs. There's a male and a female, and there are so many ticks on them. They are tied the whole time. And, you know, I just look at them and they just, I mean, I cannot imagine my dog being like tied like this and, right. you know, like it's, it's really uh, sad. Her name is Gauri. She's like so friendly yeah. and very disciplined and she sticks all over herself. We tried to remove as uh, much as we could, mm -hmm. but uh, they are like, there are a lot of them, you know. Yeah. And she's, I, I think she must be just tied like this the whole time. Yeah. And this environment is not good. There's like this uh, gutter down there and yeah. there's a lot of smell coming from there. And in just a really small space, there are over like, I don't know how many, 20, 20 animals? No, I think uh, eight, ten, uh, more than 10. Yeah, yeah. but it's completely yeah. like filled. There's absolutely no, no room. For them to move, yeah. And I yeah. think cows are one of the animals who emit highest amounts of methane so right. the whole room even can smell methane there's not enough oxygen right. uh, for anyone to breathe you know so, uh, yeah. yeah it's really important for all of us to like come here bear witness to the animals try to help them and try to get other people educated about this right. join us yes. if you think that this is wrong this is an injustice to animals you search for your local safe chapter or any activism chapter that's there and please do something to stop it See, if you're watching this video right now now you know because i never knew you know when i was supporting these kinds of things i had no idea that this must be happening you know even like i used to support the dairy industry i used to support the breeding like i wanted a breeded dog so now you know that you're watching this video it's it's i think now your duty to take action you can take action by first sharing this video i mean it's like the least you can do right now just have to click that one button off you know just to share right. it and your friends will see it on facebook 
and the other thing is please uh, get active find your local safe chapter if you, there's no safe chapter start your own safe chapter yeah very true so we have harsha here from mumbai and hi have you been to a dairy before harsha a dairy farm like this one probably my second time uh huh and any difference or is the same story it's the same story right more or less it's the same story everywhere right and it's horrible to see that the babies are separated from the mother and now this is one of the better ones where he seems to care for them and he he doesn't realize the system he's into and how he is himself is a victim so it's very important for us to bring out the injustice people don't realize it these are all gentle people they are nice people but they don't realize the injustice in running or keeping animals enslaved like this just because it's been done for ages uh like he said this little boy said he, they've had thousand buffaloes since the time of his grandparents am i right you yes. have yeah so they are really nice people but this is how we are conditioned into accepting it the violence is normal so here he is tying the baby outside अंदर हम छोटा ही बांधते हैं नहीं तो फिर वो जहाँ पर खाना डालते हैं ना वहाँ पर पूरे गाय चढ़ जाती है एक साथ सो दिस बेबी एक्चुअली जस्ट वॉन्ट्स टू रन एंड प्ले डजेंट वॉन्ट टू बी टाइड बट पॉलिथीन बैग्स प्लास्टिक बैग्स येस एंड देर इज नो प्लेस फॉर हिम दैट इज सेफ फॉर हिम टू रन अराउंड सो दे कैन नॉट बी really released but this is the time that any baby should be running around and playing and be able to go to their mummies any time they're hungry they give in milk just twice a day when actually any baby the baby of any animal needs mother's milk every 2 or 3 hours or even less even every half an hour so we really need to think about how we support systems that are not in sync with who we really are because most people are kind and compassionate this one is trying to eat is it okay if he eats this if she eats good yes yeah. so she's really hungry don't give the seeds please they yes, might be spicy yeah so she's really hungry and maybe she needs more food Yeah. So she just feed. So he's got some food for her. Uh this is all leftovers from a green grocer. And she's really hungry. These babies generally need food every 1 or 2 hours and we do not realize this because what we've been taught is that just give them mother's milk every 12 hours and that's really sad please share this video and please share So we have Swati with us, Sudish. Sudish, what did what do you have to say after seeing this? I just can say that uh, the system is so deep rooted. Yeah. It's in our tradition that we have to. If you want to bring about a big change, you have to start from here. Right. Yeah. So please be active yeah. and Definitely. be part of Save Vigils. Okay. Yeah. So thank you everyone for watching please share thank you